Nelson Lakes National Park was once a land of giant glaciers, dominating the northern South Island. They have slowly retreated over time, carving out a spectacular landscape, made up of alpine lakes that lead up into the rugged mountain peaks of the Southern Alps. The park offers exploration opportunities for people of all fitness levels. One of the more advanced routes will take you deep into the park and over a challenging alpine pass. Po Kirikiri, Trevor's Saddle. Crossing Trevor's Saddle is a challenging bit of track that links Upper Trevor's Hut to West Sabine Hut. This section of track will take you approximately six to nine hours to complete, and it is a part of the Greater Trevor's Sabine Circuit, which is an 80 kilometre, four to seven day loop that starts and ends in St Arnold. Reaching the saddle means you will already be a couple of days into your trip, so make sure you know what you are committing to and are prepared for what's to come. The best time of year to attempt this pass is from December through to April. It isn't recommended to walk outside of this period as snow covers the landscape forming complex avalanche terrain, so avalanche skills and equipment are essential from May to November. The average summer temperature sits around 2 to 8 degrees and Trevor's Saddle sees approximately 179 days of rain per year. It's important to remember that you will be in an alpine environment, which means there is a good chance you will experience heavy rain, strong winds, snow and freezing temperatures, even in the height of summer. So you'll need warm and waterproof clothing as well as a good pair of tramping boots. You'll be a long way from civilization, so a personal locator beacon is recommended as an emergency communication device. As with all walks and tramps in New Zealand, make sure you leave your intentions with a trusted contact and inform them when you've finished your tramp. You can find out more about leaving your intentions at the Mountain Safety Council website. The crossing of Trevor's Saddle starts at Upper Trevor's Hut. From here, you will gradually climb through an open alpine field. This is a relatively easy start to the day, but there will be a few boulders and the constant uphill climb to navigate. Remember the weather down here is not representative of what it will be like on the saddle, so make sure you have warm and waterproof clothing easily accessible at the top of your bag. Towards the end of the valley, the track takes a right-hand turn and the steepest part of the climb to the saddle begins. Make sure you follow the orange marker poles to stay on track, as a wrong turn could easily put you in dangerous terrain. Pace yourself as it is physically challenging and use your hands to help you, as some rock scrambling will be required. After navigating a few boulder fields, you'll find yourself on top of the saddle. This is where you'll be most exposed to wind and rain, and visibility can be low, so only move forward if you have the next track marker in sight. Make sure you take a break up here if the weather is nice, as you'll have some of the best views in the park looking back at Mount Travers. The descent begins with a scramble down a short, steep section of the route. Immediately after this, it's easy to take a wrong turn in low visibility, or if the route is covered in snow. Although the route may seem to head straight down, it actually bends to the right as you descend, so make sure you follow the orange marker poles to stay on the right track. Don't try to take a shortcut at this point, as you can get stuck very easily. The southwest face of Mount Travers is dominated by avalanche paths. This isn't a problem when there's no snow, but even if snow isn't present on the track, there could still be a considerable amount in the upper parts of the mountain, which could avalanche under the right conditions and down onto the track. Keep to the route, which follows the tree line to the left-hand side of the avalanche path. This is a basic route that requires you to step over rocks and tree roots. These can be slippery when wet, so take care not to slip and twist your ankle. From this point onwards, you'll be out of the alpine environment and will follow the valley all the way down to West Sabine Hut. Although Travers Saddle is a relatively short section of the Travers Sabine circuit, it is a hazardous pass that requires advanced tramping experience. Only attempt to cross the saddle from December through to April, but be aware that snow can still hang around during the shoulder months. Talk to dock staff at the Nelson Lakes Visitor Centre in St Arnold about your trip to get the latest information on track conditions. Make sure you check the official Nelson Lakes Mountain Weather Forecast at metservice.com. Finally, if the weather is poor or this track doesn't look right for you, try the Lake Rotuiti Circuit or Speargrass Track as alternatives. Now get out there. Be safe and enjoy your alpine adventure.